Hey guys, today I'm going to show you a collection that came into my store today. I offered $100 and that is what I paid for it. Uh, now, it's not only magic, but it also has something that is really cool. And I love unique items. So I'm not going to, I'm not sure how I can show this off. But it's the giant Emiko poster that stores were given out before the Eldrick Moon pre-release. As you guys know, I had the Liliana store clean and then the upcoming events as well. I wish I could show you the whole poster, but it's huge. So having something like this is very unique. And in my opinion, that's why I purchased this item or this particular set because I don't think the value is there. Now I did buy it from a friend and there are Pokemon cards. I'm now, poke I'm now purchasing Pokemon cards because they're easier to move than Magic as of this moment. These are Japanese, I believe. So, I don't know if they were valuable or not. Unknown, here are just some more Pokemon cards. I'll get to the Magic soon enough. I think I'm missing a card there. Oh, these are uh, Shadowless Originals. So, I learned the hard way that we have Lots and lots of reprints for the these type of cards, just like so many of them. Oh, okay, so we're here to Magic now. Again, I got this for $100. I mainly purchased it because a friend needed some money and I wanted the Eldrick Moon poster. It actually is lar much, much larger than I expected, so I don't have a place for it right now, but I'm sure we can find some place. Uh, Grook Apex Predator. Wow, that was kind of hard to say. It's been a long time since we've seen Garouk. Uh, Fasa is a pretty good one. That one always kind of has a little bit of value. I try to point to cards that I believe are semi-valuable. Um, just Legends. This was a guy's EDH commander deck. Or the commanders he wanted to make EDH of. Go. Caller Glissa, I believe this one is semi-valuable right now. I vaguely remember her spiking for some reason, but I'm sure it's been reprinted. Another Fasa, so there's probably $10 in Fasas. Riku, always a good one. This one I haven't seen in a while. I used to love this card. It's just so good. Um, Titania, I... Pretty sure that Titania has also gone up in price. As long as they have not been reprinted, a lot of these commanders should be able to go up in price. Mizzet. Yeah, so pretty much I bought this for the poster. I want, if I had to guess and calculate the amount of money in this particular binder, I would say it's not that high. I mean, Garouk Apex Predator is probably like $10 or something like that. Let's just try my best to calculate prices because that's, you know, when you have a business and you buy cards, you should probably do that. So probably this page is maybe 10 bucks, maybe like five bucks because there's not anything like too crazy here. Maybe 10 bucks, 25. Probably 10 bucks, 35, 10 bucks, 45, and I'm calculating retail. So if I buy it for 100, I want to at least get 150 to 200 from it, right? Because it does take time to sell. So this is called base two, or base two is like the little two, which was the identical version of base one, except it has a little two. And then they reprinted again in Legendary Collection, which was surprising to me. And Legendary Collection has this little print here, so that was new. But this Alakazam is a Shadowless original, so that's probably worth a little bit of money. Maybe 55 bucks. And Garouk is about 10 bucks. You can probably get 10 for her. Him, 60. The uh, rest of the page, maybe another 10 bucks, 70. Foster, I think, is 10 bucks. But this whole page is kind of 80. I mean, I would be, I would be really happy to make back my money on this, to be honest. Uh, another Foster or Glissa, 80, 90. 
and yeah probably just a hundred like again I don't know about Pokemon cards all that much but I really wanted a poster and it was for my friend and I decided just why not buy oh I had some code cards too for Pokemon which I'm just gonna give away anyway so it's an interesting collection of legendary creatures and definitely something that like I looked at and I might make a cube on it you have Heliod so you do have a lot of these things that I know people want in their decks it's just that it's going to be very hard to sell them here's a snake dude so maybe uh, snakes go back in fashion right so pretty much the cards were a hundred bucks uh, at retail hopefully and the poster I got as a free add-on now I don't know how much the poster would cost I feel like the shipping on the poster would be more than the poster it would be worth it's a huge poster like I have I don't remember it being that big but I mean it's a beautiful poster it's Emiko on the it's so I know that you can print it at a print store but this feels different it feels it it's been to a store before I think it has value in that so anyway this was a simple collection I picked up um, now I'm going to go off on a little tangent on some products so I like this product a lot. It is the Global Series, Jun Yonggu versus Mu Long Ning. I like it because um, honestly, I think it's gonna bomb and they're not gonna do more of this. Therefore, this will be a very special product. So when you think about Portal Free Kingdom, the reason that it is so expensive, the cards are not theoretically more powerful. In, in many cases, they're just the same cards with different names. And for EDA's purposes, that makes sense because sometimes you want two time warps. But the artwork is beautiful. I don't feel like this is going to do very well. And five years from now, people really want this set because it will be like Port of Free Kingdoms where it's a collector's item. All right, let's talk about two other things. I want to, uh, this one, you can still get it for relatively cheap for under 20 bucks. I got mine for 20 bucks a piece. It has a $10 card in it. A Drazi Temple. And that card sees modern play. It's not going to go away. That's why I like this particular... If you can get the dual decks for under 20 bucks, around $20, $25, I would definitely hold on to it. There's a lot of cards in it where I look at it and it's not as good as the Dreads deck, I will take that back. The Dredge deck got banned. So Gregarian Grave Troll, a lot of those Dredge cards got hit really hard because Grave Troll got banned. But this one, I mean, it has one Adrazi Temple. And whenever you have a product at $20 and you, there's a single card in it worth half the price of the product, you want to buy that product. Um, you absolutely want to buy that product. The other, this is the second best product I have, sealed product I really put money behind. The other one has the Windswept Heath. I was getting those for under 20 and Windswept Heath itself is now like 10, 12, 15 dollars and probably will break 20 at one point. Aldrazi Temple, same, same issue. It's like when are they going to reprint the Aldrazi Temple? Uh, they're probably not going to do it anytime soon. Therefore, I think it's relatively safe. So I do like uh, this particular dual deck very much. I have a few sealed cases of it. And it's guaranteed value. Like there's not this uh, randomness that, oh, I hope I pull good value. No, you know what's in the deck and half the value of the deck is in a single card, which is not typical of a product. And that's very good. And that card's a land. So it has all the inklings of a really, really great product in the future. Uh, you can still get it at Walmart and Target now, Barnes and Nobles. I actually got them at my local game store and I got one at Barnes and Nobles. So yeah, $19.99 was MSRP. I bet you that Toys R Us had a lot of this. This would seem like something that wouldn't sell because when it's in standard, it might sell a tiny bit, but then the stores are not going to be able to move all of it. So anyway, that is it. Um, love this. Uh, $29.99 is a lot for this. You can get it online for about $23 with shipping. 
Uh, these are $19.99 in Barnes & Noble's, Target, Walmart, and if your local game store has them, it will be $19.99, the MSRP. I think online they're selling for slightly more, but I want to say it's $19.99 and in free $99 shipping is the lowest I was able to find it at. Great, great, great uh, future set. It has a very good land in it. And that land, just like the Winchwa Peef, will only continue to go up in value. Anyway, that is it. Bye, guys.